Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm doing another Q&A video where I take your questions from Twitter and I answer them all in this video. Reminder, we do these every single Sunday. And we've got a lot of questions to get into today, so let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. Our first question comes from Toxic Lollipop, who says, how many do you think the cheapest thing in the gun running DLC will cost? Probably a pair of socks or a hat and it will most likely be somewhere around 20-ish thousand dollars. That's typically how it is. Honestly, the clothing is some of the most like overpriced stuff ever. So I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be like a shirt or a pair of socks or something that's like 10 or $20,000, something along those lines. Our next question is from Steven who says, do you think Rockstar is going to give us more information on gun running after the double money and RP on heist. So I originally thought that they were gonna give us some information this past week, but I guess that the two times money and RP heist thing was such a big deal that Rockstar decided, no, let's leave this alone and let this sit. There is a chance. I mean, honestly, we're running out of days of spring. And if Rockstar said this is gonna come out in spring and summer, then eventually we are gonna to have to get new information on gun running. I personally believe that this is a good time to do it. There isn't really a whole lot else going on in the gaming community, and it has been so long since Rockstar have given us an official word on really anything new. I know the community is crazy for some new information on gun running, even if it's just one screenshot or some more info on how the missions or stuff like that would work. I know that all of us in the community would really appreciate it. Up next, we have a question from Matt Zingu who says, could Rockstar possibly extend the double GTA money and RP on heist because of the limitations of getting onto the servers? So in case you guys have missed it over like the past 24 to 48 hours, Rockstar servers, especially with Grand Theft Auto Online, have been awful. I mean, they've been hot garbage. Grand Theft Auto Online has really been Grand Theft Auto Offline. And I don't know what is causing this. I don't know if it's like a global cyber attack or if Rockstar servers are just having some basic hiccups. Regardless of what it is, getting back to your original questions, could they extend it? I don't think they're going to unless this event that's taking out their servers is like a global thing. So you guys may not remember this, but a couple Christmases ago, a group called Lizard Squad took Grand Theft Auto and the entire like Xbox and PlayStation network offline where you literally couldn't play games. And Rockstar recognized this and they actually extended some of their discounts and sales. So that was pretty big back then. I don't know if they're gonna do the same thing here, especially because this double money in RP on the heist stuff isn't really DLC related. It's just a bonus event week that they've got going on. Now, speaking of gun running, this next question from Bailey Jones is, do you believe the gun running update will act as the third and final pillar to the free mode money-making businesses. I hope it is. I hope that it's not tied to something like bikers or the CEO stuff, because I think it's so uniquely different that it would kind of be weird for it to be thrown into one of the others. I also believe that that would kind of be like a shortcut and that Rockstar could reuse a lot of the assets from either of those organizations, like the CEO stuff or the biker stuff. I want this militia group that we create or this army to be incredibly unique and have super unique features that isn't available through any other system, thus making it possibly a little bit more expensive, but also making it way more worth it to start a militia and to get involved in stuff, something like that. I hope it's not tied to the bikers. I hope it's not tied to the CEO stuff. If Rockstar is gonna tie it to one or the other, I think that it's gonna be the biker system. Although it would seem kind of weird to start like military operations out of a biker clubhouse. So I'm hoping that it is its own pillar, just like you said. And honestly, I do believe that's gonna be the case. I'm trying not to answer the same gun running questions every week, but I really do feel like that's an important one. And I hope Rockstar hears this message from the community that we want it to be its own separate entity that competes with bikers and CEOs and isn't necessarily thrown in with one or the other. Up next, we have a question from Jordan who says, do you think all the gun running DLC content will be released at once or over a period of time? So I believe that Rockstar has got this tunable release drip feed system stuck in their head. And I really do think that's gonna be the case. For some DLCs, I think it works really well, like Import Export, where there was a lot of amazing content to look forward to. However, with the last update, I think it kind of backfires where we are slowly getting one car a week and then one week we get an adversary mode. And if you don't like the adversary mode, it's like, well, this was worthless. So I think that for Import Export, like I said, it worked really well. For Special Vehicle Circuit, it didn't work all that great. I think that if the tunables content is good, 
I don't have a problem waiting for it. I, in fact, I get really hyped for its eventual release. But if the content is bad, which I don't think it will be, it is kind of a bummer just sitting there waiting for the bad content to be added into the game. I would prefer it to be like a 60-40 mix where we get like 60% of the content on day one and then like 40% of the content drawn out without like a month or two. That would be pretty cool and that's what I really liked about Import-Export. All right, our next question comes from Super Juan Avila who says, do you think we may get animations or character actions in the Gunrunning DLC? I would love some new animations like crouching and going prone. I think those could be incredibly useful for the military missions and for just combat in general. But as far as character actions go, we already have the salute in game, which is pretty military-esque. I wonder what some other military actions would be. I'm trying to think of, of some of those right now. Maybe like do push-ups or something along those lines on the spot. That could actually be pretty creative. I think the last time we got new actions in a game was Lowriders Customs Classics, which was really over a year ago. So it would be nice to get some new ones. Hopefully Rockstar get pretty creative and add some nice military, militia, army sort of themed ones into the game. That would actually be super cool. Our next question comes from Chainsaw who says, will there be a new fastest supercar? So if you're talking about gun running, I think the answer is going to be no. In fact, I don't even know if we're gonna get a supercar in gun running. If you're looking for the new fastest supercar, which I guess people are tired of using the RE7B, I don't even know, it would probably be in another race themed update. And we didn't see that in Cunning Sun Special Vehicle Circuit. So I don't think we're going to be getting a racer style update anytime soon. So I think for the long term that the RE7B and the cars surrounding it in the top two or three are going to probably be the best ones to use for a long time. So they will probably stay that way. And I think for gun running, that's actually a good thing. I want to see more off-road vehicles, more trucks, more military vehicles, uh, more muscle cars, stuff like that in gun running, and a little bit less of the high flashy supercars. Our next question comes from Chief who says, if aircraft carriers are added, how much do you think they will cost and what upgrades do you think they'll have, like yachts? So I think they would definitely be like 10 or $12 million, no doubt, because of how massive they are and how rare, I guess, Rockstar would want to keep them. I can guarantee you they would be almost that expensive, especially if the yachts are like six to seven million dollars. So that's probably the price range. Some upgrades I would like to see would be like landing pads and helicopter storage spots for our air Pegasus vehicles. I'd like to see a submarine storage facility for like the Kraken. I also think it would be cool if we had like a glorified ammunition that was built on there so that we could resupply and do a whole bunch of other stuff. It would also be nice to be able to launch missions from there, whether it's like a heist room or whether it's something that allows us to start the military gun running missions that would be pretty cool so features like that maybe like a defense system as well that would block other hydras and other aircrafts from coming into your area that could actually be pretty awesome now that's all contingent on rockstar actually adding the aircraft carrier in the game which I don't know if they're going to do. Our next question comes from All Hail Gamers, who says, do you think we will get a three round burst gun in the upcoming DLC? I don't know if we'll get a specific one, but I think that's a good idea as far as a feature for the weapon, being able to switch it to like single fire or burst or automatic. Honestly, I feel like that should be the way for all the rifles we have in the game, because if you make something single fire, it's more accurate, you can pick and choose your shots, three burst would kind of be a nice middle ground. That would be cool if Rockstar added like a, a different firing modes for these weapons. Because right now all the rifles are automatic and for the most part every other gun is automatic for the exception of like the pistols and then some of the shotguns. But yeah, that would be a great new feature uh, that Rockstar could actually add for the weapons themselves. This next question comes from Knife Guy who says, do you think Rockstar will release the ground fireworks ever again, possibly as a part of an event update? I really hope they do something with that in this year's uh, 4th of July DLC or Independence Day update. It, depending on when Gun Running releases, it could be advantageous of Rockstar to package in some pretty cool content for a 4th of July or Independence Day DLC. And adding the ground fireworks back, even if it's for just a week or a day, would be amazing. And there's a whole bunch of other things that Rockstar could do clothing-wise, vehicle-wise, feature-wise that could really make for an awesome 4th of July update. I feel like that's something that's been missing over the last really two years. They did one in 2014, but honestly, they've just been reusing the content ever since. So it would be actually nice for them to add more 4th of July Independence Day content 
into Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, our final question again, once again comes from Jordan who says, when will you do your 2017 gaming setup video? So it looks like a lot of you guys really want to see this. I will be doing that soon. I've got to make a couple changes to my office right now. And I'm also waiting on the right time to upload it. I think I might do that sometime in June, maybe after the gun running DLC. That, I'm, that might be a video I save for like E3 or something like that, which is another event I might end up going towards. So it's gonna be happening. I just don't know when but it'll definitely be sooner rather than later. But anyways, that's all the questions that I'm gonna be answering in this week's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, we do these every single Sunday, so if you wanna be possibly featured in the next one, all you gotta do is go in the description, follow me on Twitter, use the hashtag AskBoss whenever I'm looking for Q&A questions, and you might find yourself featured in a video like this. If you did go and enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.